All right, enough of that. Let's go. <sighs> All right, boys and girls. Last time we were here, we uh, made an incredibly unexpected playoff run, won a World Series in our first year at Utah. Corbin Burns was phenomenal. The bullpen was phenomenal. And uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was crazy. <clears throat> we lost <clears throat> two games the entire trip through uh, the playoffs in the World Series. We lost game two to Minnesota, so we beat them three to one. Swept Kansas City and uh, beat the Phillies in five. <clears throat> so. Amazing. So here we are in the off season. We got to set our 40 man roster, uh, our for arbitration, which we only have one to deal with. I've already done that. <coughs> um, tender contracts. I've gone in and offered everybody at the same time. It takes forever. So I just went in and offered all the guys that uh, I didn't place on waivers. So Holman is on waivers. That's why he has no offer. I lack Belak, he's on waivers. Weisenberger is on waivers. Brasso is on waivers. <clears throat> we had to get rid of those four guys because we have to clear uh, roster spots for our draft picks. Um, unfortunately, our very last draft pick, which was a first baseman, was automatically cut because he didn't have room on the roster. So um, we ran back out here. He's a D potential, but he can hit, and he's he's good to use in the minor leagues. <clears throat> so, can play first and third, and we'll throw him 60K a year, get him back on the roster. Um, all the other guys that we drafted, all the other pitchers, um, they, they carried over, so we're good. Um, so, once we sign him, that'll get us to 93, and that's after we cut those four guys. <clears throat> I have a list of one, two, no, Holman's gone. Hold on. I got to scratch him. Holman's gone. Yeah. So I have a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 guys. <clears throat> 11 guys. Um, one we could leave. That would leave us with 10 guys that are going to make at least between 750 and 600,000. I don't mind paying them, but in some cases, you know, if they're 28 years old and we can get someone <clears throat> younger making less that can grow, um, then we'll ship them off and, and get a younger version back. <clears throat> um, we also have some guys that, um, Possibly could lose in the Rule 5 draft. That would be, well, four of them. The last four listed there. Carter Smith and Jigba, Daniel Susak, Yanni Hernandez, Nick Allen. So, Susak could, if we put him on the 40-man, then that would give us three catchers. Where, well, actually, we already have three catchers, right? What three catchers do we have? All right, one, two, three. So, we have these three. So, we could ship Susak out and try and get something else. <clears throat> Same thing with Yanni. He's just uh, organizational depth. Nick Allen, organizational depth. Smith and Jigba I picked up um, just to, again, organizational depth. So we could ship those four guys out. <clears throat> and that way we don't lose them. Get somebody younger that's not going to be eligible for the Rule 5 draft. That's the whole point of... Not giving away players, trade them away for something else, and uh, backload your minor leagues with young talents that's not going to get swiped for free. So you can see I've got multiples at every position that are on the 40 man, so we're covered for injury. Um, only have one closer, but if we get an injury to our closer, we'll just put Alexis Diaz or Rasmus in that closer. <clears throat> So we really don't need to worry about that too much. But <sighs> Underwood, um, he we might sign him and then trade him away. <clears throat> Probably should have done that before he offered him arbitration. Whatever. 
I mean, he pitched well for us. 323 ERA. His walks were a little high, but less hits than he's pitched. 8-3 and three had five saves. So, very usable, very serviceable. <coughs> Damn, sorry. I just ate, and uh, I got some drainage in the back of my throat. I have allergies year-round, so it's between the combination of the two. It's driving me insane. So, like I said, we've offered contracts to all these guys. They're all pretty much renewable, so bring these guys back. We go into free agency. <clears throat> I've gone in here and looked at some guys. So we could offer Dylan Cease as well. Let me show you what Cease would take. Cease would cost us here. He's going dead already. I've been working on Stadium Creator all morning, so that's why my battery's dead. <clears throat> These would cost us a second round pick. Um, so that's why I subbed in Michael King instead. King's 30, Cease is 30. He's an A96, he's an A89. So he actually has room to grow. And he's got much better pitching clutch. So that's why at the end of the uh, playoffs, I, I talked about getting Dylan Cease, but Michael King, plus King has a sinker. And a change and a slider. So, does he have any quirks? Homebody, nighttime. <clears throat> He's good at home at night. Gotta love that. So, Cease have any? No. So, that's even better. So, the reason is I am looking at two, two years, right? If we go up here to the budget, we've got Freed and Burns and Adamas and Garcia, and Rasmussen, and Rooker, and Adele, and Alexis Diaz, and Langoliers. All those guys signed for two more years, in some cases three, but most of them this is two years. So you can see our salaries go from 88 to 68 to six. <clears throat> and we still have 92 million available. So I don't want to go spend a whole bunch of money that's going to carry these guys further down. I want to save some room. So that when we actually get some of these young pitchers, Estes is in the rotation. Spence, I'm going to move him to long relief. <clears throat> He's going to go to long relief, and that would open up a spot for uh, King in the rotation. And that gives us, we got a bunch of guys here that look like they're close, but they're all C potential. This guy is 18 in his B, so we give him two more years. Maybe he's an 80 by then, right? Same thing, Brody Brecht, two more years. He might be 75, 78. <clears throat> Hinkle, we just drafted, so two more years, maybe three more years with him. These guys are a bit away. Um, and that doesn't count anybody that we discover and happen to draft in the next draft. So we don't have a ton of high potential guys coming up. Um, so if he can bridge that gap, add a couple of years to their development, that would... Uh, that would help us. So that's why <clears throat> I'm looking at Michael King. Um, I looked at Isaiah Kiner Falafa mostly because he can play everything but first base. And and that's it. Everything but first base. So he's an emergency catcher. He covers us everywhere. He's got great uh, clutch, great vision, decent hitting, okay speed, okay defense. His fielding is at least it's better than um Rosario. Um, we signed in Kiner Falefa. I will trade Rosario away. Um, his glove almost killed us in the World Series, so he's going to go bye bye. <clears throat> but it's only a two year deal. Caleb Ferguson, um, that was a lefty to replace uh, Ryan Yarborough, who's going bye bye. So I will trade away one of my older right handed relievers. And Sweeney was the guy we drafted that the system cuts, and we want to bring him back. So, anyway, that was our thinking on all of that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and advance today and see what happens. That should have a bunch of our guys sign. All right, so we got Carter Sweeney back. And then all of these guys that were up for renewal took 
took the money. <clears throat> much, much shorter list. These these four guys are going bye-bye. They're getting cut. That's why they haven't been offered a contract. Um, he's still on arbitration. And free agency, we're down to these two. And we have plenty of money if we want to push it up. Once we uh, get there, um, don't necessarily want to trade Nick. Um, we did sign Caleb. He signed. So Castro, Castro played great. So what I'm going to do is wait till Underwood signs, and then we'll trade him. So I'm going to go in here when you're at 2.1. We're going to offer him 4.2, which is 2.1. <clears throat> Hopefully he signs, and then we can trade him. So, go one more day. Doesn't sign yet. Got three more guys signed. Anybody come in here? Nope. Still leading on that. Okay, you know what? And kind of for laugh at two years, eight million. How about two years? Let's get it to green. Two years, 9.1. <clears throat> Michael King, two years, 34. No, let's go three. Three years, 45. He didn't like that. Three years. Seventeen point five. All right. That should get those two done. <clears throat> um, so we're still waiting on these guys to sign. Waiting for those four guys to clear waivers. Waiting for him to sign so we can trade him. We are at 94 right now. <clears throat> so, let me... Let's trade two of these guys off and get a better catcher. Younger catcher, right? So, let's trade Susak. Let's trade... Laughlin. What kind of catcher can we get for those two guys? Antonio Gomez. <clears throat> I'm looking for younger. I'm looking for a guy that's not going to be eligible for the uh, Rule 5. So let's do it this way. Catcher. I went 18... 18 to 21. Can't hit. William Yang. I think I boosted his stats because he's a, a Braves prospect that was not rated. Oh, no, no, no. He was a guy they drafted, and he was like 40-something, so I pushed him up so he would be usable. <clears throat> I went through a bunch of the prospects for other teams that they drafted, and if they were not a D, I pushed them up to make him hopefully someone that could be uh, usable down the road by the CPU. He's 21. They would do that. They would do that. Yeah, all he did was boost him a little bit and jumped his um, durability. Mm -hmm. Burden. His catching isn't that great. He can hit, though. All right, he's 18 years old, so let's make this deal. 
Susak and O'Loughlin for Daryl Burden. That was a guy we were interested in drafting. We almost drafted this dude last year. So, yeah, all right. <clears throat> we're going to give them a catcher that's going to be more usable. All right, so... Susak is gone, and O'Loughlin's gone. So that gives us 19 starting pitchers, so that's 15 at all three, five at each level, and four extra. We're going to carry six at the major league level, so that leaves three extra, and that's because of injuries. We have 22 relievers, so that's seven at each level, except the major, so that leaves two extra, and then three individual closers. I like to carry six outfield at each spot, six infield at each spot, we have seven first base, five third base. I might look to see if one of those guys can shift the third. Seven catchers. So that's my roster composition. It's what I like to have. Do we have anybody at first that can play third? Sweeney can. Let's move Palmagiani, third base. <clears throat> All right, that gives us six across the board. So now we have Yanni Hernandez and Nick Allen. So we need to do some one-for-one -one trades here. Yanni Hernandez. We don't have to trade him. I'm just looking to see what we can get. And I want specifically one for one, same position. <clears throat> if the computer will gladly cooperate here. Max Anderson at second base. I don't have a second baseman need. Brendan McNair is a 62, but he's 23. Go look at him. Let's do it this way. All right. Let's go back to the Orioles. And Ben Sakum, now he's 23. I went younger than that. Jaime Salas. That was a dude that won the uh, Rookie of the Year. Why, I don't know. How, I don't know. <laughs> Why is Trevor Story at third base? That's strange. Um, third base, Willie Vasquez, yeah, he's 24. I need younger than 24. Cutter Coffee, nope. Bert Colbert, Brian Ramos, no. Batten, how's it going? Welcome in. I have not missed much. We did make one minor trade. We traded Daniel Susak and a 24-year-old uh, D potential starting pitcher to the Reds for the catcher that uh, we almost drafted last draft. <laughs> oh yeah, we were going to go live today. I was, I was, I originally said um, three o'clock, and then. I needed to go cut the f and edge the front yard. Wife's been driving me insane about it. I haven't done it since like late September. And she wants it done before winter and before Thanksgiving, blah, 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 blah. So I ran out there at three o'clock and mowed everything. I don't think I've ever mowed the grass this late in the season before, but <clears throat> anyway. So, um, Batten, I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do this off season. We're going to get through all of the off season 
and we may or may not play some spring training games. Depends on if we decide to have Logan Fiore come up and start at second base this coming season and not send him to AAA. Um, when we're done doing the off season, I'm going to give you guys the thanks for watching screen. I'm going to end the stream and then restart it immediately so that I can have a hard break and it gives me two different files. And then I'm going to go into Stadium Creator and I'm going to show you the Labats. I'm going to show you the uh, Labats Park and I'm going to mess around and and uh, you guys can watch me work on the stadium. I'm not going to get it done, but you're going to, you'll, you'll get to see me work on it. We can talk while we're doing it. <clears throat> so that's my plan is to... Uh, all right, I'll take this. 21B61 for 27C70. So we're going to make this deal. Bam. So Yanni Hernandez is gone. So now we get a guy back that is not going to be eligible for the Rule 5. All right, Nick Allen. We already have Jacob Wilson. So Nick Allen's going away. How about Michael Arroyo? Nope. Chu Chung? Wang Chung. Anybody want Wang Chung tonight? Diego Benitez? No. Kalen Culpepper? Yeah, so don't uh don't don't run away when I um close down the uh the stream. I'll be right back. So you know what's going on. Right now, I am just trying to find replacement players that are not eligible for the Rule 5 draft. <clears throat> Zanatello on the Red Sox. All right, he's a possibility. Roseman Verdugo. They really could use Nick Allen. We're going to make this deal. All right, Nick Allen's gone. So there's three guys that we would have lost in a Rule 5 draft that we just shipped off for younger versions. Carter Smith and Jigba's next. All we're doing is replacing these guys with younger prospects that we're not going to lose. All right, they'll do that for Martin. <clears throat> Dan Roush, I think I boosted him because he was somebody they drafted. Henry Villanueva. His durability sucks, which we can always jack that up. Um, Jay Orlando. Moya. You can also catch. Hey. All right. Welcome to the team, Gregorio Amoya. Moya. Boom. Got an extra catcher now. That's awesome. <clears throat> so here's what we've done. Recapping our moves. Traded Susak and Jack O'Laughlin for Daryl Burden. Yanni Hernandez for Sheriff Namor. Nick Allen for Rossman Verdugo. Kanan Smith and Jigba for Gregorio Omoya. And then we re-signed all of these guys. Carter Sweeney was the guy we drafted in the last round, and he got chopped because we didn't have room on the roster. So we added him back after we released these four guys right here. Belak, Holman, Weisenberger, and Brasso. We let Yarborough and Senzel go as free agents. And uh, right now I'm trying to get Underwood signed so we can trade him away. 
<clears throat> and Batten, check this out. Remember I had mentioned Dylan Cease? Well, he's got a qualifying offer, which means we lose a second round pick if we sign him. And his pitching clutch is only 62. So we put an offer in on Michael King, who has 99 pitching clutch. They're the same age. And King has three quirks. Cease has none. So night home games, he's going to be a stud. And he's three years, 52.6. These guys, nine years, 304. So I'm not paying that much money. So we're offering Michael King. I'm going to move our fifth starter to the long relief role for next year. Mitch Spence, <clears throat> his durability, his, I'm sorry, his stamina is at 66, so he's not going to pitch deep in the games. But we can use him to pitch long relief. Um, I mean, he had more hits than he's pitched. That's just because of his rating. So if he doesn't work out in long relief, we can just ship him down to AAA and bring somebody else up. He hasn't used any options. So we'll just see how it goes at the start of the year. Worst case is he goes back to the minors. <clears throat> and we're giving King, we offered King a three-year deal. I just changed it um, to try and get him to sign. But you can see all the guys with two-year contracts that we have that are expiring in two years. So we have the next two years. King would be a third year. But we have the next two years to uh, try to win another. Um, I will probably bring Alvarado back. Rooker, we're going to have to sign him to a longer deal, but he's 31, 32. We'll see. We might let him go and get a younger version, but we're not paying Rooker anything. Look, $3 million bucks for Rooker. $3 million for Rooker. <clears throat> so let me save while I'm here. So we got rid of four guys that we were going to, we could lose in the uh, Rule 5 draft, and we only have one 40 man roster spot. Now it's full of 40-man roster spot. Why is that? Oh, because Underwood signed. There we go. All right. So let's trade him off. Because we have Cole Wynn who could step in. There's Cole Wynn. And there's Underwood. Underwood's got better home runs per nine. Wynn's got a better hits per nine. So we're going to trade. He just signed. What? He hasn't signed. Okay. He's still in the 40 man because he was offered arbitration. All right. Let's see if we can get him to sign. Nope. <clears throat> Free agency. Oh, we also offered Isaiah Kiner Falefa to be our utility player. And we would trade Rosario away and go with. Um, Biori at second base. Um, SD Ruiz can also play second base. Kinder Falefa can play everything but first base. <clears throat> Much better defensively. Probably be a defensive replacement at second base for Fiori in late games. Um, so those are the two. I wouldn't even call them big, but I mean, if we wanted to go big, we could, you know, sign Vladdy. <laughs> Sign Kyle Tucker, but I'm not going there. Hey, Josh Naylor, anybody? Tommy Edmond, anybody? Hey, Ryan Helsley, we're having flashback to the Cardinals. All right, Cease signs at nine years, $304 million to the Rangers. All right, first big pitcher, and Vladdy's gone too. Looks like we signed Underwood. Where did Vladdy go? Blue Jays brought Vladdy back. 10 years, $253 million. Let's do it this way. Transactions completed. 
free agency. Anybody else? We got Caleb. All right. Those are the first two guys. And now we can trade Underwood. <clears throat> and let's go prospects. We don't need anybody at the major league level. And we don't need a whole crap ton of them. We just need one. We could get James Jones, a 22-year-old B potential 68 closer. Right now, that's the leader in the clubhouse. He's a 63. 68. Okay. Not bad. It's 22. Oh, got a quirk. How about that? So they'll take that deal because Underwood would step in and actually be their closer. And they still have this guy. All right. Hey, done deal. Underwood's gone. We got a much younger guy. So let's go to our roster. Closer. He's the guy we just added. Changed his name from Troy to Roy. So we have Roy Hobbs. James Jones. Got to fix that number. He's not wearing number five. You can go 55, but you're not going five. Edgar Peniagua. You're going to go back to a regular bullpen arm. And that will give us another option during the season. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus Spence and long relief. Okay. That gives me... Um, all right, let's go quickly refresh again. Trades. All right, so the bottom two sections were during the season. So, traded Susack and Jack O'Laughlin to the Reds for Daryl Burden, who is the catcher we almost drafted last season. We thought about drafting him in the first round, and now we got it, and that gives them a much more usable backup catcher and a pitcher. Yanni Hernandez, just depth in the and our majors goes to the Marlins for Sharif Namor, younger third base. Nick Allen goes to the Padres for Rossman Verdugo, get younger. Keenan Smith and Jigba to the Mets for Gregorio Moya, who happens to have catcher as this, one of his secondary positions as well as outfield. And then Underwood goes to the Rays to be their closer. And James Jones comes to us. So now we have two young closers that we can stack. And it's not a bad idea to have a ton of those closers. I know if you guys watched Franchise Gaming and his A's franchise last year, he would draft a bunch of those closers and just stack them up in his bullpen. Um, you can move them to relief pitcher. Their, their rating will go down a touch. They go up if you move them to closer, they go down. So if they're young and it goes down, then they have more room to grow again. They're the same exact pitcher, but their overall drops. So, um, and that, that happens with starting pitchers too. If you go into your starting pitchers, their stamina should be a minimum of 70. Anybody under 70 needs to go to the bullpen. Well, I don't want to move Spence to the bullpen, like change his position to reliever because it drops him from a 76 to a 69. <laughs> I'll just leave him a 76 and we'll just use him in relief because if he goes... If he doesn't do well and we send him to the minors, then I want him to be a starting pitcher in the minors. So. But some of these guys, the guys like this, 
Hogan Harris was a starter. I drafted these three guys. I drafted those three guys. Not not Peluso. Na and Reyes were guys I drafted. And Manny Cordero. And their their stamina is below 70, so we shifted them to the bullpen. And that drops their overall. Now they have a lot more room to grow as relievers. And yeah. And who wouldn't want a guy throwing straight gas coming on the pen, right? So. All right. So. Cleaning up. Anybody else you want to get rid of? We got. We signed Caleb. So we could trade Tyler. And Hogan Harris and Seth Elledge. All these guys that are older <clears throat> or younger versions, right? Because they're all going to be pitching down in double A and such. We're never going to see them. So basically anybody, Yanni's gone. So basically anybody under tw over 25, I guess. Or 26, that'd be the cutoff. So that leaves us with two relievers. One, two, three relievers and a right fielder. All right, so we're looking at Elledge, Harris, and Ferguson going bye-bye for younger versions. And Daz Cameron, because we can go with Veen and Clark Elliott at AAA. All right, so let's get rid of the outfielder first. I want guys that are under 23. I want same position as well. I want to be able to avoid Rule 5 draft on these guys. He's 24. Jimmy. Yep. The only bad thing this year, Jimmy, is we're not having Thanksgiving at our house. We have had Thanksgiving and Christmas at our house for a while, which is nice because it means I get to watch football. I don't have to leave. I get to watch football, right? But we're going to my mom. So the only game I'm going to miss is uh, um, the only game I'm going to miss is the Dallas and the Giants game. I'll watch the early game at home. I'll watch the late game here. Yeah, I do like hosting because I don't have to leave the house. You know, when we were younger and dating and first got married and had kids, we were always running to this person's house and that person's house and grabbing the kids and hauling shit everywhere. And, uh, it's nice to not have to go anywhere. Everybody comes to us. So we make our family come to us. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't mind doing Christmas because I make brisket. <laughs> One year we made two three pound briskets for Christmas. It's called leftovers. <clears throat> My house smelled so good. I, would, I cooked those two briskets like, um, I cooked one of them the day before, and then I threw another one in at like two o'clock in the morning and let it cook all the way until two in the afternoon. Yeah, I don't mind. I used to cook in restaurants, Jimmy. I used to work. I used to work at a, a place called Country Kitchen, which is kind of like Denny's back in college. And then I worked at TGI Fridays and a couple other places. I probably should have just gone to chef school and been a chef, but. I didn't because, you know, I'd never see my wife back then. She she and I would be working exact opposite schedules. <clears throat> That's why I quit working at the uh, NBC station here in town in the sports department because I was working 3 to 11 and she, we never saw each other. All right, let's look at Benny Blake on the Royals. Not much power. Not much defense. We could always move him to left field. What do we have in left field that can go to right field? Nelson Beltran can go to right field. All right, let's make this deal. They actually want a little bit more. We could get a little bit more. 
because we're trading a 72 for a 64, but we're shaving eight years off and 530 grand. So let's make the deal. All right. Daz is gone. Now we have three relievers to get rid of. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Um, anybody else that didn't hear me at the very beginning of the stream? We're going to do this offseason. If we decide that Fiori's going to start at second base, then I will do some spring training games with him. Not a ton, but we'll do them. Um, yeah, bad. And we're going to do a bunch of small moves, except we're trying to sign uh, King and kind of Falefa. King's the big dude, right? I'm not going to add a whole bunch of... Our, our team won the way it is. There's no point in going out and getting... We have a really good platoon team. Um, we, we are going to lose... We're losing Sinzel, but Nevin can do that uh, platoon in left field where Nevin hits against lefties and Kelnick hits against righties. And we can leave Mayo at third full-time. Um, we've got Adamas at short. Esty can play some short. Kiner Falefa can play, if we get him, can play everywhere. Fiore would play second base and absolutely crush lefties. Soderstrom's at first base. Um, if we wanted to, we could play Esty at second, move Fiore to first against lefties instead of Soderstrom. Um, we've got a lot of options. Um, and um, the one thing I have to decide, we got Dalton Rushing is 24 years old. And then McCann is 28. So we could bring Dalton up and make him the backup. Or we could leave him in AAA the whole year. Um, no, we haven't traded Rosario yet. Um, so we could move McCann. I mean, we don't need to, but we could. Um, and put rushing as our backup catcher. We also have Soderstrom that can catch. And try and get another young catcher behind McCann because it's so hard to find a catch, young catcher in the draft. Right? Um, or we could just keep him. He's in the last year of a deal. Let him walk next year. Rushing comes up and takes his place. Um, so we've got Rosario and McCann. I got to write them down. We'll look at those two. We'll look at those two. All right. So anybody 26 and younger, we're going to leave. So you, and you, and you. So we're going to trade three relief pitchers right now. Let's get the trading over with so we can just fast forward and see what we do with the um, free agent signings. We just need one for one. I just need one decent relief pitcher. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. See in the upper corner, the second guy listed on the Mariners. I forgot what his first name was, but I saw his name was Lebowski, so I changed his name to Big Lebowski. <laughs> um, let's see. 48. It's nothing. All right, let's see. Let's do it this way. You know what? I could keep him. If he's not going to go, it's not the worst thing. What about Hogan? Hogan. If there's nothing available, I'll just keep him another year. It's not a big deal. Carlos Bonilla. All right. Tyler Ferguson. What about you? You should get us more. Apparently not. Nothing in the 60s, really. All right. We'll keep those three guys. 
So we're done trading with those. Where are we at roster wise? We're at 93. All right. Free agency. We have an offer in for King and Kiner Falefa. <clears throat> Let's look at Rosario. He went up. He's not regressing. He can play second, short, third, left, and right. His defense, though, is, is what killed us. But he's got really good hitting, really good speed. Can't play center. That's no big deal. He could be our kind of Falefa dude, and he can play some back at short as well. But kind of Falefa is better defensively. Let's see what we can get. Nothing intriguing at the moment. He's only got one more year left and he'll leave as a free agent. So don't want Castellanos. Holderman, we don't need. Perniac's actually not bad if you're doing a draft only. <clears throat> Get him in the roll five. Dude hits 300 if you just put him in the lineup and let him go. Yuki Matsui, don't need him. All right, so if we keep Rosario, we don't need Kiner Falefa. About the same player. Difference is the fielding. And he see potential. He's actually going to regress. So let's withdraw this offer. So now we're waiting on Michael King. All right. We had it here. Let's get him up to 18 mil. We'll front load it. All right. Let's see if that gets him to do it. We have nobody in arbitration. Back there. All the boys are in the house. All right. Do we need to put... We have two guys we could put on the 40-man roster. <coughs> um, looks like probably one of these center fielders. Colby Thomas is 25. He's younger. Celestino is two years older. I don't lose both of them, so we'll keep one. And then we have room for one more. And I don't want to put, I don't want to have four center fielders. So let's trade Celestino. Plate full of Popeyes. All right. I still haven't had in the, uh, their chicken sandwich. Isn't their chicken sandwich supposed to be just phenomenal? Or, or is, that, is that Popeyes or Church's that has really, really good chicken sandwich? Popeyes. This guy's Errol Vera. Looks like I almost wanted to call him Aloe Vera. 
<laughs> Oliveira. He's he's a B63. Let me look at him. Let's just do it the way we did it before. Nope. Edgar Basabi. KFC's way under. <clears throat> Dylan Head. Henry Cruz. Marion Boyd, no. Elijah Green. Remember we had him with the Cardinals. Let's see, Cubs. Give me Alcantara. Yeah, raising canes. Cane sauce is good. I wonder what Chick fil A would taste like with cane sauce on it. Aiden Smith. Near it. All right, so sixty two relief pitcher Otanez Rodriguez Bowman. I'm just going to take a chance that those guys don't get taken. Offer you a deal. Offer you a deal. I got a deal for you. All right. Contracts are almost done. No arbitration. Free agency. We're still the only one after Michael King. What? He went to the Rockies? Why would you go to the Rockies? You can go to altitude with us and actually fucking win. Oh. You want to go scorched earth? <laughs> You guys want to go scorched earth right here? I was offering King more than this. That's the same deal. All right. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to run it back with the same. No, 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 no. This was who I wanted. This is it. This is the deal. This is it. We're giving Michael Waka a one-year deal. 10.5 million. This was the guy. Look at that. He's had less hits than things pitched every year except for 2021. Going back, he was struggling. He was pitching great with the Cardinals, struggled, and he found it right there with Boston. So in the last four years, he's been crushing it. He's not going to strike out a ton of guys, but 
His pitching clutch is actually slightly higher than his hits per nine. His walks and hits per nine are good. I don't care about the strikeouts. So hits, walks, home runs are all in the 70s. Got great control, velocity, break. He's got five pitches. Michael Waka. This is the guy. Kyle Tucker to the Royals. All right, got all those guys signed. Who's left? We have three guys left to sign. And the only ones in on Waka. 40 man roster. We have 39, and that lets us take a look and see if we want to grab somebody. For the rule five. Iglesias to the Rays. We don't have any arbitration. Did we sign Waka? No, what happened? One, two, three, four. All right, what's going on? Joe Boyle. He's triple A. That's four. Six all the way around, seven. All right, we're going to trade Salinas, who's a D, and Roberts, who's a C. And we're going to go back and sign Waka. All right, Salinas and Roberts. Prospect. I need one pitcher. <clears throat> hmm. He's 25, though. He'd have to go on a 40, man. Don't want to do that. Jackson Ferris of the Rays, but he's a C. I don't want to see. We'll think about Ferris. Angel Huerta. We can get another closer. And he's a 74. Nope. Let's go back to the Rays. Jackson Ferris. 22 years old. Left-handed pitcher. C potential. Done deal. Trading a D and a C for a C. He's right there, so we got to go sign him. All right, back to free agency, back to Michael Waka. One year, ten and a half million. Well, Wilson Contreras goes from the Cardinals to the Pirates for Andy Rodriguez and Nick York. I wish the Cardinals would make that kind of trade. Get rid of the old guy and get two young guys back. All right, so that guy signed. Jackson Ferris signed. All right. So we got one roster spot open. And Waka is the non-sexy pick. Don't care. I really wanted Issa Nid originally. Then I really wanted King. I can't believe King went to Rockies. Fuck. Blake Snell back to the Padres. Zach Gallon to the Padres. Thomas to the Pirates. Wow. Hold on. Pirates are loading up. Skeens, Jones, Keller, Oviedo, Falter, Bubba Chandler. Contreras at catcher. Bowers, Gonzalez, Key Bryan, Paguero, Reynolds, O'Neill, Cruz, Soto. They have Soto and Lane Thomas.
That means they can DH Soto. They wouldn't have to play him. Padres. Gallon? They signed Gallon and Snell. Well, I can see why. Because look how old their staff is. Oh, my God. They have nothing of youth down below. What could we... Oh... I would be willing to get rid of some pitching to get Ethan Salas. Hmm. <laughs> Don't have what they want. Second, first, and third. Not even for Kurtz? Not even for Fiori. Wow. Not even for our best prospect. Not even for Mayo. Okay, not getting him. Okay, okay, okay. Waka, Ranger Suarez to the Yankees. Did Waka sign? No. Oh, you motherfuckers. We're going to walk it back to the same thing, aren't we? I don't want to give him two years. How about 11 million? It's a one year deal. $12 million. Take it or leave it. We have $86 million in our budget available. It's a one-year deal. Colton Kowser goes to the Phillies for that young left fielder that we played against the World Series and Orion Kirkering. Wow. Wow. Baltimore needed that bullpen, didn't they? My son missed playing with him in high school by one year. And <clears throat> Kenny Piper, that catcher you guys hear me talk about with the Durham Bulls. Devin Williams was a senior. And Kenny was a freshman playing on a varsity team in high school. And he got a, and he's not, he wasn't nearly as big as he is now. And he got a, a, a line drive single off of his 97 mile an hour fastball. And the scouts who were there to watch Devin Williams like, that kid's going to be special. All right, he's 31. This walk's pretty nice, terrible. So we're looking at about six mil per. We'd have to push his stamina back up. I'll just leave him there. We have some young guys behind them anyway, so. Here, yeah, let's do this. Update trade block. Let us put Adamus. Not Adamus. Put Rosario. McCann. And not pick a position and see what just what people offer us. Walk it went to the Giants. All right. We're just going to run back the same team. I'm done fucking around. So we're not adding anybody to the rotation. <clears throat> 
If I have to, I'll make a trade during the season. This is what we're going to go with. Damn. Really got shut out. That really annoys me. I don't know what they do in the background to generate the order, but only the teams on the left will change positions. And it takes entirely too long for it to update and tell us. So let's see who gets the first pick, if it's Colorado or not. <clears throat> The Blue Jays go up seven. The Mets were 82 and 80. They jump all the way to number two. Colorado drops three. Wow. White Sox and Colorado and the Marlins all got just raped. All those teams close to 500 except the Cubs pushed up. Wow. Fucking Mets. The only thing that happens is this is the first round. Every round after that, it goes back to the regular order. So that's how that works. Rule five draft. All right. Jordan Diaz, we traded him away. All right. Anybody out here we have any interest in, they have to be on our everyday lineup, our, on our roster, 26 man roster. Don't see. Anybody worth a shit? There's Yanni. Nick Allen. Celestino. All right. Nobody. So, we took care of that by uh, trading all those guys away so we would at least get something for them. Um... See if anybody offers us Brewers. We don't want to trade Alvarado. Fuck off. They're looking for a closer. Devin Williams to the Rangers. So they signed Devin Williams and Dylan Cease. So our division got even tougher. Josh goes to the Reds. Stays in state. Nobody is offering for any of our players. That's fine. Nobody to renew. Conforto's the best guy out there, but he hits left-handed, right? He's got reverse splits. Walker Bueller. All right, we are off to spring training. So let me save this. Now, you guys got to help me out and decide. <clears throat> we have two choices. So tell me in chat. We can just go with Rosario and leave Fiore down in AAA for a whole year in AAA. He's only got 51 contact against right. He's 58 power, but he's... Killing lefties has great vision and discipline. Clutch could be better. Um, doesn't have great defense. Good arm. Doesn't have great defense. Um, so we could leave him in AAA the whole year. Get an injury or a slump, we could call him up. If we leave him in AAA, then we will spend more time playing full games in AAA this year than we usually do. So instead of playing two or three full games in the majors we'll we'll end up playing full games down there because we'll have nick kurtz we'll have fury we'll have a bunch of our other prospects jacob wilson and we'll play with those guys and see how they develop while we sim on the major league level um and we can go with rosario who still has great contact and great speed it's just his defense and i don't think his defense really matters in the sim it only matters when we play um so we got this guy, Caber Rodriguez, who's going to be in AAA. Yeah, you're not going to AAA. Jacob Wilson will be in AAA. 
So we would play with him. He's in MLB now because we're ready for spring training. So he's on the 40 man. So he got called up. You're in class A. Um, those three guys are up. Could bat with Moya. We just got him in the trade. Rodriguez will be down in the minors. We could bat with him too. Um, Zach Veen's down there. We could bat with Zach. Um, first base, we have Nick Kurtz, who's going to be down there. He's the A's number one prospect in real life right now. Dude, mashing. Absolute mashing. He's only going to spend this year in the minors, and then he'll be up. Um, catching Dalton Rushing would be down in AAA, so that's another guy to, for us to... So I have a loaded AAA team. Roy Hobbs would be down there as a closer. Um, starting pitching wise, we got the all of these young guys. He's going to be in Double A. Ferris would probably be Double A too. So we've got some guys that we can use down there, play with. Um, otherwise, if we bring him up and he plays, then I got to put him on the forty man roster. He doesn't need to go on the 40-man roster until he's like age 24 or when he comes to the majors. So there's no rush. Um, but he 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 hit really well down there. So I will I will on his training I will set it to uh, contact. Yeah, maybe power. I don't know. I'm not worried about his defense, to be honest. So that's the choice. So if we leave him down there to get more seasoning, then we're not going to do any spring training games because we don't need to see anybody that we just used. I mean, we could bat in spring training with Nick Kurtz. Jacob Wilson doesn't hit well enough. I mean, Kurtz would pretty much be the only reason for us to do triple do spring training, and I don't know that it's worth it for one guy to player lock on. We do have some extensions we could sign. He's renewable, renewable, renewable. Let's see if we can get him done. Get him for three years. 7.7. .7. Seven point eight. Seven point nine. There we go. All right. So we got our stud lefty. Almost eight million dollars for him. We're paying him more than double what we pay in Rooker. <laughs> Rosario, we're not gonna deal with him. These guys are renewable, so we don't have to pay him. Sandlin's arbitration, we'll see how he does. All these other guys are renewable. So we really have two guys to worry about really only one guy to worry about in free agency next year, and that's Rosario. And we can just let him go and get somebody else. Or we can bring him back and just let him be a bench player behind Fiori. So. All right. It says we are the 11th ranked team, 4th in power, 3rd in speed, 7th in contact, top 10 pitching. Our defense is the only thing that's killing us. So. Top prospects in baseball. This guy just got drafted. It's because he's an A. He's got pretty good hitting for only being a 57. Noble Meyer and the Marlins. Nick Kurtz is number nine. Roy Hobbs is 15. We just traded for him. There's Logan Fiore, number 23. He's ready to come up. If his hitting was a slightly better. We drafted him. We just traded for him. So. All right. PPI, this would get us an extra draft pick if these guys played and did well. Out of this whole list, Shea would get it if he was, like, MVP. I think the only one who has a chance would be those two guys in case of an injury early, early in the season. And they come up and they start tearing up. So what happens is you call them up and say they they win rookie of the year. Then you get an extra pick at the end of the first round. So 
that would be cool for us because then it would get back to back bam bam we could get we could get like the best available closer or snag you know two hitters that we found we discovered and we could hit, get them before everybody else does so anyway double check and make sure my scouts didn't retire 94 we got someone better than 94 we got he's 94 nope nope 94 is it so he's 95 97 91 He's 97, 93, 93. We have really good scouts. So both of these guys can scout hitters and pitchers. We can use both or either. Um, we're we're going to go hard on pitching this year. I think we got enough some younger hitters. I wouldn't mind taking another hitter if we discover one, but we need to find some stud pitchers. So we we might be discovering in one and scouting in two different ones at the same time. So like international and central. Maybe we just scout international and central and let him try to discover more hitters. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Budget, we still have 86 million. So we're under 100 million. So we only have three guys making more than 7.3 million. And we just won the World Series. All right. Well, let me save this. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you the thanks for watching. I'm going to end the stream and immediately start it back up so that we separate this file. So I can use the other one just as my off-season by itself. And then we can go into stadium creator and i'll show you all the parks i've made and i'll show you a park that i'm working on right now so thank you guys i appreciate you hanging out here for a little over an hour for the off season probably our shortest one ever um we will start the season um let's see, tomorrow i'm getting a temporary crown removed and a permanent put in Um, my daughter's going to be in town, so that rules out Thursday and Friday. Yeah, I'm probably not going to start the season until maybe Sunday night. Maybe Sunday night. During Sunday night football. So, get four whole days of... Sitting around waiting is going to drive me insane, but... Um, it would drive me more insane if we hadn't won the World Series. So, And since Fiori's not coming up, then I can just chill. So we're just going to bring the same team back. We have a better bullpen than we do a rotation, so this will be fun. So, all right, I'm going to log out of the stream, log back in, and we'll get started with the uh, stadium creator. If you want to hang around, great. If you don't, I understand. So thank you, guys. Appreciate you, and I will be right back in two minutes. Thank mm -hmm. you.